Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I'm an Adobe Premiere Pro teacher. My courses are linked down below. Today I'm going to be helping you solve a problem that I sometimes face, and that is relinking media in Adobe Premiere Pro. If your SD card gets unplugged when you're working on a project or a file gets lost, you have to basically, if it goes red, relink the media, um, which basically means clicking on the clip in, clip in your um, desktop region. Um, so basically Adobe Premiere Pro can find that source clip and relink it. So what you do is, the, the, if you've only got one clip on the timeline and the way that it's a bit slow is you would double click or right click if you're on a Mac um, and then select link media then it would f say you know locate this clip you select yes and then let's say all of your clips are on uh, in one folder for this project it would locate the clip that has the same name as the one that needs to be located and then you can click on it click OK and it relocates it perfect However, if you're working on a big project and you've got loads of different clips that all need to be re uh, relinked, doing this individually is very slow. So if you want to relink them all at once, head over to the top, click assembly. Um, once you're on the assembly panel, scroll down, you'll see all your clips and images and music. You're then going to highlight every single folder and clip and project file inside of the assembly panel. You're going to double click if you're on a Mac or right click and select a link media. The same process happens again. It shows you all the fo um, files that need to be relinked. Click locate. Then it will show you one matching um, name for the clip that needs to be relinked. However, by doing it this method, it relinks every single clip that was on your timeline, even if they're different. For this to work, all that has to happen is all of your clips for the project have to be in the same folder and Premiere Pro does the rest. It makes it a lot quicker, easier and is a lot less time wasteful. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, leave a like, subscribe down below. Please do check out my Skillshare courses and Udemy courses. I, I've been editing videos for years now so I think they'll provide a lot of value. Thank you, take care.